Hi there, it's me, Zonya from The Art of Stamping. I promised you a video on my intense coloring on craft cardstock, and here it is. In the following 7 minutes or so, you will see how I created the layout of this card and colored in the different images with intense pencils. So let's go! I stamped this cute little birdie onto heavyweight craft cardstock using Jet Black Archivaling by Ranger. Archivaling is oil-based and doesn't smear when it gets into contact with water or water-based mediums. That's why I always use it for watercolor techniques. The cardstock I use is by Crafter's Companion. It's quite rough and weighing 280 grams per square meter, which is an estimated 120 pound paper in the US. For the technique I'm using, it's important to use a rough and heavyweight paper. The rough surface is good for picking up enough pigments from the pencils, and because it's heavyweight, the paper is also thick, so that it can hold at least a bit of water, which is necessary for blending the intense colors later on. Here I stamped on a greeting by Creator Smile Stamps from their set Coffee First, and a to-go mug by Lawn Fawn from their set Love You a Latte. To bring it all together, I drew a thought bubble by hand, copying the style of the bird. I started by sketching out the bubble with pencil, and when I was satisfied with the outcome, I traced the outline with a Copic Multiliner, which is waterproof. After I had done my sketching, I started coloring. Unfortunately, I haven't noted down the colors I've used, but the technique I apply can easily be transferred to all intense colors whatsoever, so I hope it doesn't matter too much. What I still do know is that I chose a bunch of autumn colors to fit the season, so if you want to recreate this card, I'd suggest using different reds, oranges, olives and browns. The difficulty with the technique I use is that you have to work with very little water because unlike watercolor paper, ordinary cardstock cannot hold much water. If you apply too much, it will destroy the paper. So it is important to do all your shading before you start blending. I'm doing this by applying different amounts of pressure on the pencils in the different areas of my images. In the areas with the deepest shadows, I'm pressing down the pencils quite hard to lay down more pigments. And in the lighter areas, I lighten my pressure to lay down less color. The white is looking especially bright on craft cardstock and as I found out it's best not to blend it with water because in this case it loses a bit of its brightness. So if you're going for a real bright white impression just leave the pigments dry.
To maintain my shading when blending the colors, I start the blending process in the lightest areas of my image and slowly work my way into the shadow areas. In between I often clean my brush and carefully pat it dry on my cleaning cloth. Sometimes I even wipe off excess water between my fingers to make sure the brush is no more than damp. That's the end of today's video. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, I'd be glad to see you again next time. Have a nice day. Bye!